Welcome to Sales Tips by Fortune Real Estate Academy, Nigeria's number one real estate academy. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 12 key important qualities that you need to possess, that you need to have if you desire to become a top selling realtor or a top selling brand. You may be a developer watching me and you want to have your team, you want to have your organization uh, become a top selling one, then you need your people to possess these qualities. So either way, whoever you are in the business of real estate and you desire to sell at a top level. So whoever you are listening to me, you want to experience sales at a very high level, both in terms of the value and in terms of the numbers, then you need to watch this video to the very end. Again, I'm giving you 12 key important qualities that you need to possess that you need to embrace that you need to have characterized if you want to sell real estate consistently or generally become a top selling brand for your business my name is Raymond E. Jama and I am the lead facilitator of the Fortree Real Estate Academy our goal at the Fortree Real Estate Academy is to raise top selling realtors people realtors real estate professionals and practitioners who know what they are doing and most importantly who know how to sell consistently. I'm very intentional about the phrase that we use here because the goal is to sell real estate consistently and I'm not the guy that is researching, I'm not the trainer or coach that is researching about how to sell real estate on the internet. I am teaching you based on what I am doing. So from an experiential point, I, I show you, I tell you what to do and I, and I literally walk you through, hold your hand as it relates to how to sell real estate consistently. And what we do here um, at the sales tips level is to give you free guide as it relates to how to do this thing and of course, um, sell consistently, right? So if you're interested in um, going above that, going for more, then you can reach out to the number on your screen and enroll for our master program. But right here, I'm gonna give you top, top, qualities that you desire or you must desire to have or characterize if you want to sell real estate consistently. Number one is vision. This is this has been talked about a lot of times, but a lot of us still don't get it. Vision, it is too important. So if you've heard it somewhere before, I am saying it again, you need to put your why together. You need to ask yourself, why am I here? A lot of you jump into this sector because you see somebody or see a realtor driving a big car. It's beyond a big car, it's beyond a nice car, right? You need to you need to ask yourself why, because that is what is going to determine your staying power in the business. If you refuse or you, for whatever reason, don't have a vision or don't have something that holds you, that makes you stay, then you most likely will fall off um, anytime soon because nothing is keeping you. Nothing is, nothing is keeping you awake. And when that is your reality, it's going to be a problem, particularly because real estate is a high ticket product. And because it's a high ticket product, you may not. Uh, you can count the number of Nigerians that, that have the money to buy your product. Particularly if you're in a city like Abuja, where I am, where your products, your list products are almost 10 million naira. Not everybody has 10 million naira as a spare to invest in real estate right so it means that not everybody at least as at the point of posting the product is your client some persons may grow to become your client but the point of selling not everybody is your client so you have to really ask yourself um, certain questions and of course like i mentioned by the time you um, crack the code or hack it then you can begin to sell consistently not to one person anymore but to multiple people some persons may not buy properties every every year. Some other persons may not buy more than one every year, right? So if you sell to one, then it means that you need to spread your quality clients in a way that you have, say, 20, 100, 500 quality clients who buy consistently. If you have such persons, um, a lot of them within your, your stream, not your pool, then at that point, you can begin to make consistent sales. So you see, you have to be intentional about every move. If you want to sell real estate, I think I should just add this as a bonus. If you want to sell real estate, you must be intentional. Everything you do, you must be intentional about them. It's not just um, another marketing activity or it's not just a buying and selling affair. Rather, it is a lot about intentionality. And that is why you must take this message what I'm sharing with you right now seriously. And if you can, go for more. So vision is very important. And 
if you want to look out for something, it may be poverty. Poverty can drive you, right? Uh, wealth can drive you. Humanity can drive you. All the three of them can drive you. In other words, my vision is I don't want to be poor, right? And then you want to do real estate so that you're not poor. Or your vision can be um, I, I want to be wealthy. I want to really, really be wealthy. I want to be a billionaire. So that drives you. Or your vision can be man, I want to be a blessing to humanity. I want to fulfill purpose. I want to be a kingdom financier. I want to just um, be a blessing. I want to be able to feed one million people every year. That can be your vision. Whatever keeps you staying in the business, you can consider that as your vision, right? So that's very important. Or you can even use the three of them together or figure out a list of things that can keep you awake and keep you doing this. Number two is hunger. I say this a lot because I know it is very important. Um, a lot of you are not hungry. You are too satisfied with where you are. Um, it is okay. I mean, you must be grateful. Gratitude is extremely important. If you are not grateful, then there is a problem. So you must be grateful for where you are, but you must not be satisfied if that is not the best place for you to be. In other words, um, there can be more. If you're not driving a car yet, you should be able to drive a car anytime soon. If, you're not, if you don't like where you are living, you should be able to figure out how to live in a better environment. If you're living in a better environment, you possibly would desire to own a house for yourself one day or own houses or even be able to gift a house to people or gift houses to people. Right? So there are levels to hunger. So whatever you're dreaming about, whatever you are hungry about, you must figure out and really and truly be hungry when you are hungry it energizes you when you are hungry it will energize you to go after what you have to go after in fact hunger will help in fact let me put it this way your vision will empower you and give you a staying power your hunger will keep you energized to do what it takes to achieve your vision that is a very powerful combination and I need you to pause this video and think about that because that truly is powerful. If you can understand these two qualities alone, it will help you figure out and put every other thing in place. So number one, vision. Number two, hunger. Number three, knowledge. When the first two are taken care of, it will help you to drive into getting the right requisite knowledge that will help you do well in the business. This business is a knowledge-based business. If you don't know what you are doing, trust me, you can be here for 10 years. As a coach and a trainer, I have seen students who come into my, my business, I mean, who come into the academy, and by the, when they are giving their testimony review, they'd be like, I've been in the business for 10 years, and getting to enroll for the real estate, for the real estate academy really changed my life and all of that, and it's not been the same, right? So you can be in the business for 10 years without knowledge, without the right knowledge, emphasis on the right knowledge. The fact that you are good at marketing doesn't mean you can sell real estate. Yes. Yes. So it's important that you understand how this thing operates. And that comes from the place of knowledge, the right knowledge. Number four, skill. It is one thing to have the knowledge, it's another thing to have the skill. For me, skill comes from the place of applying what you know. Again, skill is based on applied knowledge. In other words, what are you using or how are you applying that knowledge that you have already possessed? So it is not just enough to have the knowledge. It is important that you begin to apply what you know. And by virtue of consistent application of what you know, you begin to develop skill. And at that point, it goes into the level of your unconscious. And the fifth quality that you must deliberately and intentionally look out for is wisdom. Wisdom can come from different realms, but the focus of my talk about wisdom here is applied knowledge. So that level of practicality of the knowledge that you have as well as the skill that you now possess gives you insight to do things differently or do things in a way that gives you consistent results. So these three things work together, knowledge, skill, and wisdom, and you must look out for them if you want to do well in the business of real estate. The sixth quality that you must possess is that you must become a marketer. I'm using this word in context. I like and I always tell it us, don't introduce yourself as a marketer at any point or don't call yourself a marketer or yeah, introduce yourself as a marketer to anybody. Don't do that, in my opinion. 
right but you must possess the spirit of marketing you must become a marketer by spirit and by attitude and of course if you've watched some of our videos here you already know my definition of marketing which is simply in two words interest and awareness so my scripture for marketing or my number one rule or the rule of marketing is that you must always create interest and awareness and you must do this in a way that nobody else will do let me say something very important here there's nothing like over marketing there's nothing like that if you're posting three times a day it is never over marketing else a company like coca-cola you should not be finding them paying for adverts because they're literally advertising every other they're spending billions of dollars advertising because they know the importance of that they always want to stay in your face and always want to grab your attention so if you want to sell consistently you must possess that spirit of marketing that helps you put out yourself create interest and awareness consistently you must be in fact until you get to the point where you feel like you are over marketing that is the point you should even start marketing them all because you need everything you are doing depends on that marketing everything you are doing depends on the interest and awareness that you are creating if you don't do this forget it let you just pack your bag and go to the village all right so looking at the time i have spent explaining this point number one to two i will have to create a part two of this particular conversation so i've done one two three four five parts. that is vision hunger um, knowledge skill wisdom and um, becoming a marketer developing possessing the spirit of marketing so i'm going to do um, seven to twelve in the next part of this video my name again is raymond ijam and i am the lead facilitator of the fortune related academy and right here we bring you the very best of knowledge the right knowledge and skill about how to sell real estate consistently if you have that as your problem congratulations you have found the solution because right here you're guaranteed to have and possess the skill that will help you sell consistently so if you're interested in enrolling for our paid program uh, then do reach out the number on your screen